Husband, 24 male, is withholding my, 23 female, sexual satisfaction until I lose weight. Husband, 24 male, and I, 23 female, have been married for about nine months after dating for two years. We waited until marriage for sex, mostly due to his religious beliefs. We were both excited for our honeymoon, but unfortunately, things took a turn when he ended up unhappy with how I looked naked. We did manage to consummate the marriage, but it was clear he wasn't really into it. Now, keep in mind, I am 5'6", and at the time was 135 pounds, a very healthy weight. However, although I was not medically overweight, he said my stomach and thighs were too chunky and requested I lose 20 pounds before we have intercourse again. I tend to wear very flattering clothes, so I guess my issues weren't noticeable when dressed. In the meantime, he has been requesting oral pretty much every day with, of course, no reciprocity of any kind or even affection. Since then, I've been working so hard to lose weight, but have only lost 15 to 20 pounds. I'm down two clothing sizes and in the best shape of my life, but my husband still isn't happy enough with my appearance and accuses me of not trying hard enough. In the meantime, I'm hungry and grumpy from losing weight. I didn't need to lose weight from a health perspective. If not for my husband, I would much rather be at my previous healthy weight and be able to enjoy a burger or a cupcake now and then. I'm afraid I'm falling out of love with him after being treated this way. I know no marriage is perfect, but it's so heartbreaking to be treated like an object that is never quite pretty or shapely enough. And if it's like this, less than a year in, it's probably not going to get better, right? I'm just so embarrassed that my marriage is reduced to this and don't know how to tell my family and friends. But also, I feel like I'm fading away and losing myself to expectations I can never really meet. This is bad. This is fucking terrible. This is a bad one. This is uh, a little abusive. There's a. Uh, this is not a communicate one. <laughs> no, <laughs> I I don't think there's enough. There's not enough communication in the world to save to save this. Um. Okay. Wow. All right. Um. I there's just there's no solution except to just be done with this thing. I mean, you're not gonna win. I no. mean, it's just like. It'll keep going, I feel like. Mm-hmm. I feel like you could even get to that point. But it's you shouldn't even have to. This is dumb. You were happy before. Well, and she's. it sounds like she's already lost a bunch of weight and he's still not happy. So it's like, oh, lose 20 pounds. Okay, she lost 20 pounds. And he's like, oh, no, you still don't look good. So uh, there's she's There's just never... so many problems. There, it's just I don't, I don't even know where to start. It's like withholding sexual things except – Oral. No, but he gets oral. That's what she, I mean. Like, yeah, she gets nothing. Right. And Not even affection. Like, oh my god. It's, this is this is really abusive. So let's read the comments because they did such a good job, and then we can add a little bit more of our own two cents okay. after if we need it. Sure. So, if you keep allowing him to make these demands of you, they'll never end. Is what he's offering really worth the stress? And OP goes, honestly, he isn't offering me much of anything now. When we were dating, he was also my best friend and the most kind, loving, and supportive man. Since seeing that my body wasn't ideal, he has been treating me with disdain. I guess he is just really disappointed in me, but it seems so cruel. I do have a job and can support myself. Our incomes are about equal, so it's not even like he is the breadwinner. So you're telling me you get married without seeing the person you're marrying naked ever? Some people wait. Ever? Some people do not. You don't test go swimming. Drive. No. No hot tubs. Okay. Well, the swimming thing. Yes. Yes, that is very true because swimsuits are very, like, I mean, depends on what you're wearing. Unless you're wearing a 1920s or 1930s bathing suit with, you know, the shorts. Swimsuits don't leave a lot to the imagination. No. So even one pieces, like you're you're seeing the shape of a person's body. Well, so, right. I mean. If you're, you've been with this person long enough to now be married, like you've, you've already... Two years, yeah. Right. And you're telling me you can't tell and this is a big surprise to you? Or is it now that you're married, you're more comfortable saying how you really feel and you feel like, oh, they're locked in, so I'm just going to be an asshole now? Well, that's when abuse typically starts. Abuse typically starts when there's a change in their relationship status. And by that, I mean like... 
um, pregnancy, pregnancy or like actually tying the knot, getting married. Once that person is locked in, a lot of these really bad, toxic, abusive behaviors can come out. I feel like we've read stuff about that before. Yeah. On here even. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Next one. Sounds like his religion messed up his head. Let me guess. He loves porn. He's idolized the perfect body. Jump ship, girl, and have a delicious meal and let him be a shallow douchebag without you. Lose the 200 pounds of husband. Nice. Next one. Sure, no marriage is perfect, but this isn't a simple hiccup. He's toxic and manipulating you. A good partner would motivate you to lose weight healthily. They join you for workouts, help you try healthier foods, diets, motivate you. He is an awful partner for withholding an intimate act just because you aren't skinny enough for his sick standards. He does not love nor respect you. I would have filed for divorce. And they go, edit, 5'6 and 135 isn't even fat. What the fuck is wrong with him? He literally would rather you be underweight and starved than to be healthy. He sees you as an object and uses you for oral with no reciprocation. You are not and will never be an actual person to him. Please wake up and leave. Yeah. And that's... There it is. Yeah, that is like so well said because, oh, he wants oral, but I get nothing. You get... by Like by her saying there's no affection, I'm envisioning like no hugs, no kisses, nothing. And they've got married nine months ago. So that means for the past nine months while she's been trying to lose weight, there's been nothing. No, it's sad. That is... So sad. So edit slash update. Something just snapped as I was reading all of these incredibly supportive responses. I really did not expect that. Was expecting most people to tell me to keep trying to lose weight because attraction is so important. And only then did I realize how far my self-esteem has fallen. That I felt unworthy of love over not being underweight. Called my mom crying and told her everything. She's on her way to get me now and I can stay with her as long as needed. Husband is still at work, won't be home for a couple of hours, and I'm packing my most critical items in the meantime. We're going to order a pizza. Pizza! (laughs) Like all exclamations. And she has a batch of homemade chocolate chip cookies waiting for me that she baked earlier today. I don't want to think too much beyond getting some space for a little bit for the moment, but we'll be looking into a lawyer to see if I can get an annulment or at least a quick divorce. It means everything to know I will have my family behind me, and I really appreciate you all as well. Yeah, it feels like she probably feels like she just got out of a nightmare. It feels like when you wake up and you're like, oh. Yeah. Like all the weight that would be lifted off. I cannot even imagine. Like, I feel like for me, my body is something I've always struggled with. And like right now, I'm like, I was literally looking up like Pelotons on OfferUp today. So I can't even imagine having someone you love and who is your best friend and be like your person. And then like, nope, I'm not touching you. I don't love you until you lose all this weight. Yeah, you wouldn't stand for that. No, not at all. That would be a quick, that would be, you know. But I, I see how it would be. I see how it could happen because I think like they were together two years, you know, before marriage. So it's like that was her best friend, her person. He treated her totally different before they got married. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, well, he's just looking out for me. I I see how I, maybe I could fall for it. Like if you started, like, I know you never would, but if you started doing this to me, I'd be like, okay, well, if Justin's like doing this, then I must seriously need to get my shit together. Uh, Yeah. It's so hard to see things when you're, in them yeah it's so hard even when it's i mean there's a million different stories where it's like uh even friends have had they're stuck in a really bad relationship no matter how many times you like kind of say hey are you happy and they're like no and well what do you think it is and it's just that it, it's like never putting the blame in the right place i don't know these just and i've done it too it's just so hard to see things clearly when you're in them, especially a relationship. Yeah. And when there's problems, you're quick to justify them or, you know, not blame the other person because of the history and because of, like, the love that's there. Yeah. But even she said she's starting to fall out of love, and that's a big, big sign. Oh, that's everything. That's like, why you're with Like, when you start feeling person. that, that's when it's like, Okay. Yeah, it's It's starting to really, it's not like a, oh, maybe it's just kind of, it's fading. Yeah. Well, something like that these comments didn't touch on either is sexuality. 
And I wonder, like this is, of course, pure speculation. We have no idea. We're getting one side, whatever. But I look at her 5'6 and 135, like that's pretty skinny. Granted, like 135 looks so different on different body types and whatever, but I'm 5'2 and I'm more than that. So it's, it's, it to me is like, it's so crazy. And like, she even recognized herself, like healthy. I was healthy. So I wonder if like, you know, religion could be a part of it for waiting till marriage. But I, I really wonder if he's struggling with his sexuality and maybe he waited because of that and was just like trying to convince himself like, I'm into girls. Like it'll it'll be fine once I get married, and everything will Maybe be with good. The religious factors too. Yeah, and if he is really religious, that makes you know dealing with those feelings you have for someone or you know another gender that you're in your head not supposed to be with. So I really really wonder if he like tried to make it work, and then wedding night came and they had sex finally, and he was like, "Ooh, no, I re- I really can't do this." Like, I'm not into it. Maybe. He's, and just found an excuse to, to delay. Yeah. That's interesting. I well, know. Well, I think on her side, I, th- I really think the main point is there's no perfect weight to a perfect height. And sure, the, at the doctor, there's healthy ranges and, and whatnot. But I the, the point is she said she was healthy and happy at her previous weight. And if that's the case, then... That's it. There's no other like thing to argue here. It's basically you were happy, you were healthy, and you. I I mean, I don't know. There's no reason to change that. No, that's where the problem is. Yeah, no person like if you feel good and you're happy and you're healthy in your weight and your body, no one should put pressure on you to do any different. I think too, like her saying, "I'm hungry and grumpy." Like being hungry all the time, that's that's a little sign. Like you're starving yourself. When she said she wanted the occasional pizza, cupcake here and there, like, I know. of course. I know. It's so sad. But she's out. It's looking good. Comments came came to the day, the savior. That's Comment- probably the best pizza she's ever had. What the fuck was I trying to say there? <laughs> pizza was probably amazing. But yeah, comments, comments saved the day. Oh, so happy for her. 